My brothers and sisters, may the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more. Now in this present age, houses and brothers and brothers and sisters and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many that are first will be last and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. As you recall, yesterday we encountered the young rich man who was attempting to live the law of Moses, who comes to Jesus seeking to find out what he must do extra in order to obtain the kingdom of heaven. And of course, Jesus gives him an invitation and a suggestion We're told, sadly, because he had many possessions, he walked away. He could not give up that other part of his life. We find today the disciples responding to Jesus. And at first glance, it seems as if it is a very different reaction and response. As he could not give anything up, Peter comes to Jesus and says, I've given up everything. And of course, in between the lines is, what am I going to get because I've given up everything? And so from that perspective, there's really not much difference between uh, the way that the young rich man is responding and Peter and the apostles are responding. In both instances, they're trying to control and suggest what they are doing as opposed to what God is giving to them. And so Jesus, in turn, proceeds to tell the apostles and tells Peter specifically that if you've given everything up, you can be assured you'll receive much more back in return. And surely that's been the experience, I think, for for every priest as a pastor in a parish, that even though you do not have your own personal family and you do not have uh, your own children, uh, the relationship that develops over time with those people that you're trying to serve is very much that of a relationship of a family. And it's probably because of that precisely the reason that there's the, the kind of gesture of calling one father. Jesus says you get all of those things, but then he sort of slips something else into the midst of the mix that uh, kind of takes us back again. And persecution, he says, and of course, that's the line. Ultimately, the apostles didn't receive persecution because of their convictions of following the Lord. But they also received the promise and the pledge of life eternal. All of us are asked to give to our Lord everything we can possibly of our lives and to realize that even though we dare not ask for something back in return, that if we are true in our faith and trust in him, we know we will receive much more back in return. Tomorrow we begin our own personal journeys again this year for the Lenten season to hopefully grow in an awareness and understanding of where we are in our faith with the Lord and what we still need to do in order to follow him. Tomorrow morning, because probably there will be many more people here, the 7.30 Mass will be in the cathedral.